Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be doing a wheelie build on the Ford F100. But just before we get into that, I'd like to say that yeah, I'm going to sound different because my mic decided to die halfway through and videos are going to be spread out for like the next couple of weeks while I wait for a new mic. So sorry about that. Let's just get straight into it. So guys, what you're going to want to do is add the 6.2 litre V8 engine. You're also going to want to twin turbo it. And once you get onto the tires, you're going to want to add drag compound with as thick as you can on the front and as thick as you can on the rear. And then you're going to want to add some lighter rims on the car as well. Just because this car is heavy, you need to try and get as much weight out as you possibly can. You're going to want to do the drivetrain upgrade, the clutch, transmission, driveline and diff. As for brakes, you want to put race brakes and then springs, you're going to want to put rally spring and dampers just to get that little bit more lift with both anti-roll bars on and full weight reduction, again, to get as much weight out as possible. And then for the engine, you're going to want to upgrade absolutely everything up to the turbos to get that most amount of power without adding more weight at the front with the oil and cooling in the front mount. And then with the flywheel, you just leave it out because there's no point adding it in. For the tune, so guys, for the tune, what you're going to want to do is 15 PSI on the rear. Pause the video here and get the gearing off of the screen. The alignment, you don't want to do anything to. And then for the anti-roll bars, you want to keep them standard as well. The springs, you're going to want soft at the front, stiff at the rear, keeping it as high as possible. The dampening, soft at the front, stiff at the rear, and the opposite for the bump stiffness. Turn the brakes up to 200% and lock the diff. And for you guys who don't like to build the cars and just like to get the tune, the tune is up on the tune in place. And in case you're watching this video on mobile, I'll put my game tag on screen, so go download it if you don't want to build the car. Let's get into some clips of this thing wheeling. So guys, we're here at the drag strip. I'm going to try and get a couple of decent runs in. For the launch control, you'd normally want to take it to about 4k, but it does do that. It kind of jolts forward, so you got to be careful with it. I'm just going to try and edge it to 4,000 revs. There we go. It does drop down in second, but you do get to about 90 miles an hour roughly, which is still pretty good to say this is a truck and not a normal car. You can do the launch wheel, like you can wheelie it without doing launch control, it's just a lot more difficult. There you go, that was a good wheelie. That one was doing the little reverse technique. And, I mean, it went pretty well, right? Alright, we're getting to 4,000 revs, and drop the brakes, there you go. I think, roughly, like, if you get it right, I think if you get it just above 4,000, you might be able to get a bit of a better wheelie. I've not had a lot of time practicing with this car. I've not spent like multiple days on it, for example. I have only spent uh, about three hours, maybe. And that's just messing about with like the tune and the launch and whatnot, because I had a big problem with this thing not wanting to wheelie at all. So we'll try it just above 4,000 revs and see what happens. It just spun. So uh, that answered my question. So if you've enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe down below, as you always do, and I'll see you guys in the next bloody video.